Rescue teams in Washington state have been working in quicksand like silt to find survivors of a massive mudslide. Today, more bad news from officials. 14 bodies have now been recovered. But the far more startling number represents the people who may be missing. Officials have a list of about 100 names. The devastation happened Saturday morning near Oso, a rural area 90 minutes from the Canadian border. And as you can see, the landscape has dramatically changed. Take a close-up look and see the hill swept away, taking with it trees and entire homes. Susanna De Silva has the latest from Washington State. There are more than 100 rescuers here, but the threat of another slide is forcing them back. So, everything's under 8 to 10 feet of water. This ain't good. Though apparently not everyone is heeding the warnings. The corner of 312 to Seacoast Road are the homeowners that are in the canoe right now. Part of the slide is just visible from here, a tiny glimpse of the devastation down the road. This is where the main highway disappears. On this side, the small community of Darrington. If you live here long enough, I mean, it's like a, a family to everybody, so everybody's lost somebody here. The town's grocery store is where people gather for the latest updates. The community now a couple of hours away from the nearest city. In, me and my wife, we were heading what we call down below uh, that morning, and we figure we've by the time they give, you know, where the slide happened, we missed it by maybe about 10 minutes. And you think about something like that, and it's just, it, it just brings it even closer to home. While they were lucky, many others weren't. But it isn't clear exactly how many. Officials compiled a list of dozens of possible missing persons reports, emphasizing they think the number will go down because many of the reports are vague. All the same, we have Frank. Frank. I had a beer with him a few weeks ago. He said he lived down in the Stillhead neighborhood. I don't know anything else. That counts into that 108. We're trying to move through and make sure there's nobody in those areas. It is still being called a search and rescue operation, but families were reminded today no one has been pulled out alive since Saturday. Nonetheless, Greg Regelbrug is holding out hope for his brother and sister-in-law. If someone can survive it, it's him. And, and he's with his wife, I'm sure. But waiting for answers and hoping is not enough for some residents who say they know the area and could help with the search, but officials are keeping them behind roadblocks like this because of the danger. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Oso, Washington.